Yeah, so this this um, is a species, flowering dogwood, that used to be ubiquitous across this watershed. And in the dogwood blight came through in the 1980s, wiped it out. It was thought, and we could see that with our data, right? So we had distribution of dogwood before, during, and after the blight. And it wiped out most of the adult individuals. There were just a few remaining. But those few individuals remaining have been producing fruit, and now they're starting to come back. And there's three dogwoods here at the base of this tree. The, the seeds drop from birds from above. And it's very possible that one of these will, you know, now grow up and become a member of the forest again. So unlike with the chestnut, the American chestnut, you know, we went through and cut down all the trees in advance. And so if there was ever any genetic resistance, we'll never know because, you know, people wanted to, to, to you know, harvest the wood in advance of the loss of that tree. And unlike dogwoods, there's no commercial value to them. And so there was probably some low level uh, uh, resistance within the population of dogwoods. And those individuals that were residual are now able to regenerate the stand. Hopefully, we'll see.